Hello, I'm Mark Puma, the principal of Sutherland High School, and I want to welcome you to our annual Program of Studies presentation. Throughout this presentation, you will hear from a variety of staff, students, and parents who will provide information about our program offerings and student support, as well as provide a peek into what it's like to be a part of our school community. The goals for our presentation are as follows. Throughout the presentation, you'll be introduced to Sutherland High School staff members who will provide detailed information about academic opportunities, how to optimize those opportunities to set a path to graduation, share information about our rich elective programs, and identify the academic and social emotional supports for our students. The format of this video is as follows. In a moment, you will hear from our PTSA co-chairperson who will talk about the variety of ways that our PTA supports our school. Then, Assistant Principal Dr. Summer Case will provide details regarding inclusivity and academic supports within our building. Next, Assistant Principal Jennifer Marin will describe how course recommendations and decisions are made and the process for creating student schedules. Mrs. Dawn Howe, our department leader for counseling, will then provide information about how our counselors partner with families throughout a student's years at Sutherland. Each of our elective areas, including art, business, music, and technology, have prepared short videos that provide an overview of their departments. And at the end of this video, you'll find department leader contact information, as well as how to access supplemental information about each of our curricular areas. Enjoy the video. Hi, my name is Taryn Rosen and I'm one of the co-chairs for Sutherland PTSA. I'm finishing up my two-year term at the end of the school year. I have two children, one is a senior and one is a freshman, so I will still be around for a few more years. My family's experience at Sutherland has been very positive and I continue to be amazed by the quality and quantity of the programs to which our children have access. Our PTSA committee is made up of a no number of Sutherland parent volunteers. We also have a student representative, and Mark Puma, the principal, attends our meetings. If you would like to learn who is on our committee, you can take a look by going to www.shs.pittsfordptsa.net. We typically announce positions opening up for the next school year in May or June of each year. We would like volunteers to hold their position for two years, it can be longer, or their children age out of Sutherland. We will post positions in the Sutherland PTSA e-news and the Corkins Road Midnight Express. If you need to contact me or my co-chair, please email shs at pittsfordptsa.net. Staying informed while your child is in high school can be tough. Our children are being empowered to advocate for themselves, make their own decisions, and as such, staff will typically communicate with your child directly. As a result, we as parents need to be proactive if we want to stay informed and help our children maximize their experience while at Sutherland High School. PTSA meetings are one resource to help you achieve that goal. We meet, we have six meetings a year. Some are morning meetings held at 8 a.m. and last an hour. Some are evening meetings, held at 7 p.m., and these usually have a guest speaker, so they last about two hours. You can find our meeting dates and times on our website under the About Us tab. On that same page, you can find our agendas, meeting minutes, and budget. We also send out a Sutherland PTSA e-news every Monday, or as needed, if there are important, timely announcements. If you have never signed up for any PTSA e-news, you can subscribe by going to the website, clicking on e-news and e-news sign up. If you already get a PTSA e-news, for example, the Midnight Express, you will simply need to update your preferences from the link you will find in any of the e-news emails you get. The link is unique to your account. Hi. My name is Therese Manfredi-Hill, and I'm the other co-chair at Sutherland PTSA. I have three children, a ninth grader, a seventh grader, and a fourth grader. 
I'm just starting out my term as co-chair, so I will be in this position for the next two years. The school puts out morning announcements every school day. This is another great resource for information. These are announced for students at school, but parents or guardians can get them via the email or website. You will be automatically signed up for these emails by the school when your child starts their first year at Sutherland. Note that when I refer to the website for this, it is the school website and that URL is vis visible on the slide or go to pittsfordschools.org. Select Our Schools and then Sutherland High School. Morning announcements are on the home page. We also have a directory that is shared with Menden High School. The directory provider is called Membership Toolkit, but we don't use it for membership, and I know that sounds confusing. Our directory helps our families stay connected with other high school families. Families who are already part of the Calkins and Barker Road Middle Schools directory will be automatically graduated to the Sutherland and Menden High Schools directory in August, and they will receive an email to confirm or update their information. If you do not do this, you will not remain in the directory. Families who are not currently part of the middle school directory will have to create a new family profile, and you could do this by visiting our PTSA website, select About Us, and Student Directory. Instructions are on the web page. There is also a directory app you can download to your smartphone for easy access to other Pittsburgh families' information, given that they have actually joined the directory. The resources we provide families cost money, so we urge all of you to please join PTSA annually. Membership costs $17 for a family and includes one adult. If you would like an additional voting adult, you can select to pay $10 more. Faculty and staff Pittsburgh Central School of Pittsburgh Central School District can pay $8. Please note that the information you provide for your membership is not used to solicit volunteers. And also, your membership expires each year on June 30th, so don't forget to rejoin after July 1st. The money we bring in via membership is a major source of our funding. Without it, we would not be able to fund many of the programs our children and families benefit from while attending Pittsford schools. At Sutherland, our largest expense is cultural arts, which pays for additional programs, guest speakers, and resources to enhance your child's learning experience. Your membership dues also help fund the website, e-news, Sutherland Awards, ceremonies, and much more. If you're on the PTSA website, the Join Now button appears on every page. Before we hand over, the three key resources we would like to remind you about are the PTSA website, shs.pittsfordptsa.net, the Pittsford Schools website, pittsfordschools.org, and select Sutherland under the Our Schools tab, and our email, which is shs at pittsfordptsa.net. Thank you, and please know that your children are in good hands at Pittsford Sutherland High School. Hello, my name is Dr. Samara Case. I am one of the assistant principals here at Pittsburgh Sutherland, and I'm gonna to talk to you about inclusivity and academic supports. First and foremost, this is our Pittsburgh Central School District mission statement, wherein our district community works collaboratively to inspire and prepare our students to be their best, do their best, and make a difference in the lives of others. This year, in many unique ways, we truly embrace this statement as a school community and as a district. We work diligently to think outside the box to discover how we can most effectively maximize the experience for our students and our community. Moving forward, together and stronger, due to our efforts this year, we will continue to embrace this important philosophy here at Sutherland. Two important concepts which we value so highly here at Sutherland and in Pittsburgh are inclusivity and social-emotional learning. Regarding inclusivity, it's important to think about all the ways in which diversity and inclusion and inclusivity build upon one another, and that diversity is very important to recognize. But we really want to be working toward inclusivity, where students and all stakeholders in the community feel connected to that philosophy at large. 
and that we feel collaboratively that we're working on a common goal where ideas and backgrounds are tied together in the form of a unified vision and mission. The overarching principle in which inclusivity rests is equity. Here at Sutherland, we have been and will continue to focus on equity to drive our policies, decisions, and interactions with our students and school community. Regarding inclusivity, one really important concept that ties this together is the philosophical understanding is moral purpose. To quote Michael Fullan, moral purpose is acting with intention to make a positive difference in the lives of students, their families, and in society as a whole. This is truly a vision that we can embrace daily here as an administrative team at Sutherland. We strive to let our moral compass drive our decisions and so that we're operating in the best interests of students and families. In this visual, you will see the diversity wheel, which really represents many of the facets in which our students, families, and community identifies with as part of who they are at their core. When you look at the wheel, you will notice that there are many dimensions of identity that intersect with one another. This intersectionality is an important feature of complex identity, awareness, and understanding in which we fully embrace. It is our intention to be deliberate in our shared understanding and focus of the intersectionality in which our students and community members are connected to. At this point, I will turn our attention to academic supports. At Sutherland, we strive to connect and support our students in a multifaceted approach in a way that provides targeted interventions to address many of the varying needs our students may present with. Some examples of these interventions and supports are student assistance, structured study hall, testing center, and homework club. The overarching goal of all these interventions is to provide an academic space where students receive both social, emotional, and academic supports in order to achieve their personal and academic goals. Another example, responsive intervention strategy, is the formation and utilization of our instructional support team, also known as IST. In this forum, teachers, administration, counselors, and our school psychologists work collaboratively and creatively in identifying a varied approach to our students. Uniquely in this setting, students and their families play an active role in working with this team on establishing routines, time management, skill building, and ways to improve academically in all courses. Lastly, at SHS, we strive to provide community connections through programs which directly empower students in having a voice in eliciting societal and school connection and improvement. Examples include Link Crew, Sources of Strength, Diversity Club, GSA, and Rock to Change. Through these important student-led activities, students are afforded the opportunity to work closely with their peers and advisors in attaining the common goals of community building and advancing social justice. Hello, my name is Celine Akbas and I am a senior at Sutherland. I'm currently serving as the President of Executive Council. Hi, my name is Caroline Coons and I am also a senior here at Sutherland. I am currently serving as the Vice President of Executive Council. We would like to share with you our academic experiences coming into and throughout high school, as well as some advice from a student's perspective. In other words, looking back on our time at Sutherland, things we wish we had known or experiences we learned from, as well as things that worked well for us. My first piece of advice is to expect academic intensity and homework to increase, and encourage your kids to not drop the ball on academics and grades, especially freshman year. It's important to remember that your freshman grades and GPA counts into the final GPA sent to colleges. And considering courses get more and more challenging in subsequent years, freshman year is a great time to build a strong GPA. 
Many students tend to neglect this or aren't even aware that it counts into your overall GPA, and when it comes time to apply for colleges, looking back, they wish they had focused more on their grades during this time. Even though the course rigor and homework increases, there are a lot of resources available to help with homework and academics. The teachers at Sutherland are always so welcoming and kind, so encourage your kids to take advantage of teacher review sessions and office hours, as well as homework club. Yes, as Celine said, it's truly so important to maintain close relationships with teachers. They have so much insight to share, and I found myself leaving their classrooms a better student and a better person. The next thing we would like to touch on is flexibility in choosing classes. There are many changes that come along with transferring from middle school to high school, one of the biggest changes being an increase in freedom. The years spent in middle school are a great way to put you on the right track for starting high school. You're able to experience a nine-period schedule and get a feel for how to manage your time for each of these classes. However, in high school, there is more flexibility in choosing which of these classes you will take. Students at Sutherland have the opportunity to take classes they are most interested in. Whether it be choosing a music or art elective, or picking a new type of science class to take, the possibilities are endless. When it comes time for your children to select their courses for the upcoming year, I truly encourage students to take the courses they genuinely enjoy. As Caroline was saying, in addition to the core classes, students can take electives or even AP subjects depending on their grade level. When selecting these, it's important for students to take the courses they enjoy learning about the most. High school is a time to discover what you love, so in addition to taking classes you know you will enjoy, take advantage of the flexibility in high school to explore new classes. Who knows, your child may discover a new passion. Once students have chosen their classes and begun the new school year, it is important for them to remain responsible and organized. The teachers at Sutherland will always be there to provide support along the way, but at the end of the day, it is a student's responsibility to stay up to date with their classes. Throughout my time at Sutherland, I've developed good habits for staying responsible. One of the most important habits that I've developed is keeping an agenda to write assignments and test dates in. With so many different classes, it can be easy to forget about a paper or a quiz. Utilizing an agenda helps you to get a gauge of how much homework you will have on a certain night, and it encourages organization. Another tool that's helped me stay on top of my work is developing unique study habits to prepare for tests. Whether it be making a quizlet of French vocabulary words, creating flashcards for mathematical equations, or reviewing textbook passages, encouraging your child to discover methods of studying that works best for them can be incredibly beneficial. Finally, we'd like to remind you of the importance of encouraging your children to try their very best. While there can be stressful or challenging times in high school, it's important to remember that it's okay to make mistakes. Remind your child that there is always something to learn from a mistake, and more often than not, they will come out of it a stronger student. To tie up our presentation, Celine and I would like to share advice that we wish we had known as incoming freshmen. High school is truly the perfect time to explore everything you love. We know it's scary coming into a new learning environment and grade, but I can confidently say that your children will make the most amazing memories inside and outside of the classroom at Sutherland. With so many opportunities offered by SHS, the most invaluable lesson I learned my freshman year was how to use my time most effectively and prioritize so I could participate in all of the activities Sutherland had to offer that I was interested in, while also doing well academically. High school is the time to learn how to develop these skills as they will carry with your children to college and beyond. My final piece of advice is to encourage your kids to go out of their comfort zone. Try new classes, take an elective, join a club, pick up a new instrument. The possibilities are endless. This is the time for your children to start understanding what they love, and the counselors, teachers, faculty, and other students are all here to help. We are so excited to see how your children grow throughout high school, and we welcome them with open arms to the Sutherland High School family. Thank you so much. If I could go back and talk to freshman Caroline, I would tell her that while starting high school can seem overwhelming or nerve-wracking, it's truly such an amazing time of growth and exploration. Make the most of every core class, elective, and club that you choose to be a part of. The more you put in, the more you will get out. We hope that your children have amazing experiences as they are welcomed into the Sutherland community. Thank you so much for listening. Hi, I'm Jennifer Marin, Assistant Principal at Sutherland. When creating our master's schedule, we start with required courses from our core areas, 
including math, science, English, social studies, world language, physical education, as well as special education services. Some required courses, such as PE, are available every period. Other classes might have three or four sections, while some of our special education classes might only have one section. We build a schedule that ensures all students can access every class they need to progress towards their academic goals. We also have an incredibly rich elective program, which includes courses in art, business, music, and technology. We build our elective schedule based on student choice. We, we want to encourage our students to explore these elective areas to the fullest extent possible. There will be more on our elective program later in this presentation. The scheduling process starts with teacher recommendations for our core academic areas. These recommendations take into account student interest and motivation to take a particular course, as well as student academic performance. We process teacher recommendations between January and early March. Having accurate enrollment numbers is critical in determining staffing and sectioning needs. However, it is also important for teachers to have a chance to revisit their recommendations as we approach the end of the year, as this provides a more complete picture of the student's true readiness. Building a high school schedule is a challenge, but one that we embrace as it serves our students. We could not do it without our incredible counseling department. My name is Dawn Howe and I am the Counseling Office Department Leader. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to the four school counselors who will work with your students throughout high school. At the high school, students are assigned to a counselor based on the first letter of the student's last name. Students with last names A to E will work with Lynn Drake. Students with last names F through L will work with Ben Winter. Colleen Teal will work with students whose last names begin M through R, and I will work with students with last names beginning S through Z. Counselor assignments stay the same for all four years of high school, so we may build a relationship with our students as we guide them to graduation. In addition to the counselors pictured on the screen, our office also includes a school social worker, Dave Pascarella, and school psychologist, Lance Trapp. The role of the counseling office at the high school is to support students with their personal, academic, and career development. Our first priority for rising ninth graders will be to help them with their transition to the high school setting. We will work alongside the student link leaders to help students feel comfortable with the physical setting of the building while also helping them learn about life as a high school student. Each year of high school, students can expect to work with their assigned counselor to assist with academic planning, career exploration, and planning for life after high school. We meet with all students one-on-one -on -one for an individual conference, in addition to presenting group lessons in classrooms at different grade levels. Additionally, we are also available to help support the social-emotional needs of our students. Students can access their school counselor for support, or they can also seek out help from our school psychologist or school social worker. I can choose business education. It is more relevant than ever. I can think smart. I can learn and study with great business teachers and develop the skills for success that business education builds.
come from? I just came from Business Dynamics 1. I did my career project today. Oh, fun. What career? Public Relations Specialist, so I learned a lot. Really? Take financial planning. Here, you'll be able to learn how to save and spend your money wisely, especially if you want to have a credit card someday. You'll learn that cash is king, and also be able to receive three college credits. You'll also have the opportunity to earn a New York State Financial Literacy Certification. <laughs> what class you night now, man? Accounting, bro. Really? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about it. Like, what's that yeah. like? I mean, it's just really good. You have to take accounting in college, so you might as well do it in high school, right? Like, right. You know it is? Like, what, what kind of stuff are you doing there? Like, adjusting um, entries? Adjusting entries, yeah. Really, really closing, good stuff. Closing trial balances. Yeah. Totally. Sounds really like a lot of fun. fun stuff. How many dude. college credits are you getting in there? Four, man. No way. Yeah. Dude. That's Four. crazy. Yeah. So I just got this business analysis class. Yeah, tell me a little bit about it. Uh, you pretty much learn about the interaction between uh, companies and stuff sure, like that. Sure. Uh, How many college credits you get? You get three. Uh, Mr. Bronson teaches oh, pretty great good guy. class today. Great guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So All right. You should really look into it. I think I'm gonna sign up, man. Awesome. See you around. My dream one day is to own my own business. And entrepreneurship teaches me the skills that I'll need in the future. With many types of business ideas throughout the classroom. We're able to identify each and every part of a business plan. Hi, I'm Thomas Georger, CSO at the Next Four. This is my VE classroom. Over here, you can see we've got our uh, a board that uh, tells us uh, our monthly goals, how much we've made in sales, and uh, how much we've made each month. This is Owen. He's working on the shop for us right now. And uh, yeah, definitely recommend you take VE. It's a good class. It teaches you some real life skills, you know. Uh, I've learned all about sales and what it's like to work for a real company, and I highly recommend it. Hey, do you know what we're doing in business law today? I think we're going to be working on the mock trial, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. What, are you the prosecutor? Or the yeah, defense? I'm the lead prosecutor. Oh, yeah, I'm on the defense. It's going to be a fun trial. Yeah, I'm just going to apply yeah. all the knowledge I have. Yeah. Here's my project. I'm working on <laughs> West Virginia State Board of Education versus Barnett. It's a really interesting Supreme Court case. See, Jake, what are you working on? I'm working on Miller versus Alabama. Have you done an internship yet? Yeah, I just did one over at the elementary school. Really? So did you have to take LDS or co-op? I took LDS to get co-op. Oh, okay. And it's just during your lunch break once a week, right? Yeah, it's just once a week. It's fine. It's a really good class to have. Oh, cool. Have you ever heard of AMA? Yeah, I took it last year. He learned all about Microsoft program. Who was the teacher? Mr. Bronson. You get four college credits for it. Oh, that's awesome. I'm probably going to take that. Yeah, I totally recommend it. Hey, guys. I'm Chris. Um, I'm here to talk about cyber security. Um, it's a fun class learning how to protect your accounts and uh, learn how what hackers do on computers. Um, it's real interesting. Uh, it's a cool website where you learn how to make that. I took this really cool class last year called Web Page Design where we learned how to make websites using HTML, CSS, and jQuery. Oh cool, I wish I learned how to do that. Wasn't that class, entertainment, hospitality, marketing, and management really fun? Yeah, planning that Sweet 16 was really fun with all the other parts. Yeah, the classroom environment was so chill, and I learned so many useful skills for the entertainment industry. Sports marketing, it's a really fun class. Uh, there's always a lot of like good kids. Mr. Page is a good teacher. He taught it, and we talk about like sports, how to market, and uh, what's important, and like agents and different stuff. And then we do either um, fantasy football and March Madness, and we do different projects, uh, showing like the ins and outs of. Uh, marketing and sports and why it's important and uh, it's pretty much the class. Digital business strategies is a great class if you're interested in online shopping. You get to learn how to properly shop and avoid credit card fraud. You also get to learn about selling clothes and other things online. I'm a 2018 graduate from Sutherland. I'm currently a student at Binghamton University and I took 16 credits worth of business courses last year and they all transferred over and I really love them and they really helped me with my life skills, especially financial planning and accounting and I definitely think that signing up for a business class is very beneficial for everyone. Hi, I'm Leanne, I'm from the University of Buffalo. I'm Jack and I go to Penn State. Um, in college, we use a, I'm a business major so I use a lot of the stuff that I learned here from my business classes at Sutherland and they're all very awesome classes and I learned a lot. I also got a lot of credits from business class, even though I'm not a business major, but you guys should think business, choose business.
I have a choice when it comes to my high school elective. I can choose business education. It is more relevant than ever. Welcome to the music department. My name is Mrs. Keller, department leader here at Sutherland. In the following video, you will have the opportunity to learn about Sutherland's course offerings and hear from graduates of the program. All music ensembles can be used to fulfill your high school fine arts credit. We look forward to having you be a part of the music department family. Hi, my name is Mrs. Trappis and I am the director of concert band and wind ensemble. All ninth grade students are required to register for concert band, which is comprised of students in grades 9 through 12. Wind Ensemble is by audition for students in grades 10 through 12. In both of these ensembles, we will explore and prepare all varieties of music from classical to 20th century to pop. In addition to being a part of one of these ensembles, you will be required to take a weekly group band lesson. Extracurricular ensembles that are offered are jazz band and jazz ensemble. Both are auditioned groups and meet outside of the school day. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Hello again, I'm Mrs. Keller, the Director of Chamber Orchestra and Symphony Orchestra. All ninth grade students are required to register for Chamber Orchestra, which is comprised of students in grades 9 through 12. The Symphony Orchestra Ensemble is an audition-only group for students in grades 10 through 12. Throughout the year, this ensemble combines with members of the Wind Ensemble to form a full orchestra. In orchestra, you will learn and perform music from throughout history and around the world. In addition to being a part of one of these ensembles, weekly group lessons are required. I look forward to meeting and talking with anyone interested in orchestra. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Hello, I'm Mr. Bohr, and I am the vocal music teacher. We offer many options for the aspiring singer, including three curricular ensembles, treble choir, polyphonic choir, and concert choir. All incoming ninth grade students may join either treble or polyphonic choir, which are both open to students in grades 9 through 12. Students entering grades 10 through 12 may audition for concert choir, our top performance ensemble. Additionally, we offer voice class to any student who would like to develop their singing skills. The class is offered as both a semester and full year course and is open to all students regardless of ability and experience. Students present a performance recital at the end of the course. Lastly, we have several extracurricular music ensembles, including the Night Shift a cappella group, vocal jazz ensemble, and show choir. These are all auditioned groups that meet weekly outside of the school day. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Music Theory Class is a full year course that takes an in-depth look at the structure of music. In this course, the emphasis is on basic analysis, composing, sight singing, ear training, and some basic piano skills. Although there is no prerequisite, some music reading skills would be helpful. Music history is a fun course where you learn about the impact music has had on the world throughout time. Here you will study Eastern and Western music along with musical theater, jazz, opera, rock, and popular music. Everyone is welcome to register for this course. Music is in everything. It's a crucial part of movies, video games, any kind of media. And if you really train yourself to, to think of what the music is, then it really helps you expand your horizons. Music has been a part of my life like since before I was born. And thanks to my parents and my teachers, I have decided that I really want to pursue a career in music. It's everything to me. Here at Sutherland, we welcome all students. 
If you have played an instrument or sung in the past and would like to rejoin, please do. Maybe you have always been interested in singing or playing in an ensemble. The opportunity awaits. Remember, high school is the time to explore new experiences. The difference between chamber and symphony is chamber is, a, is an orchestra that mainly ninth graders are in, and symphony is an audition-based orchestra for 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. Orchestra and music in general is like any other type of art, drawing, painting. If one little detail is off, then the whole thing crumbles apart because it's really a team effort. is what everyone starts with. It's the beginning level of the choirs, the choruses as you may. Uh, and then you can either choose to stay in that singing place or you can decide to be like, hey, you know what? I try and challenge myself. I try to be the higher level, which is concert choir, which is a class that you must audition for to get into. Welcome to the Technology Department's High School Program of Studies to help you decide on what technology education courses to take your remaining years of school. If you'd like to see what our students are doing this year in our classes, please visit Twitter at Pittsford Tech. Why take classes in engineering? As Albert Einstein said, scientists investigate that which already is, engineers create that which has never been. You'll learn the processes of creating those projects in our classes through hands-on activities like the ones you currently enjoy in the middle school. We dive into Einstein's idea of creation with a design drawing for production class. Students will use the design process to explore ways to draw and produce a product using hand sketches, 3D modeling, 3D printing, laser cutting, as well as traditional tools. This is our entry-level course for Project Lead the Way classes, most of which you can receive dual credit from RIT. It is a full year course that takes care of your fine art credit needed to graduate. At the end of the course, you may elect to apply for RIT college credit for this course. This class can start a five-unit sequence that will place your foreign language requirement. Principles of Engineering is a high school level intro course to the concepts learned in engineering school in college. Used in combination with a team approach that challenges students to continually hone their interpersonal skills, creative abilities, and problem-solving skills based on engineering concepts. In structural analysis, projectile motion, and basic programming to name a few of the areas students will encounter in post-secondary engineering course of study. Computer Integrated Manufacturing is the study of manufacturing, uh, planning, integration, and implementation of automation. The course explores manufacturing history, individual processes, systems, and careers. In addition to technical concepts, the course incorporates finance, ethics, and engineering design. Civil Engineering and Architecture is a high school level specialization course in the Project Lead the Way Engineering program. They apply math, science, standards, and engineering practices to both design of residential and commercial projects and document their work using 3D architectural design software. Engineering Design and Development is a senior level course in the Project Lead the Way High School Engineering Program. After carefully defining the problem, teams of students will design, build, and test their solution. Finally, student teams will present and defend their original solution to an outside panel. Gaming Design is a half-year course. It is our newest class. It introduces students to the basic concepts of gaming design, starting with two-dimensional games like Among Us, and then transitioning into simple 3D games like Minecraft. Computer-Aided Drawing, better known as CAD, is a half-year course that takes a deep dive into designing products using 3D printers and laser cutters to create prototypes. This is similar to a makerspace in the libraries around Monroe County. Communication Systems is another half-year course that we offer. 
It introduces students to the technical aspects of Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, and Adobe After Effects. This is one way internet influencers create their final product. Production Systems, affectionately known as Woodworking, is another half-year course where students will learn safety as well as physical skills associated with the woodworking process. You will complete several projects that you'll be able to take home with you. This course introduces students to woodworking fundamentals as they pertain to cabinet and furniture making. Instruction will cover safe use of hand and power tools. Construction Systems, half-year course where students learn the basic residential construction techniques from the foundation to the roof and everything in between. Students have fun building brick walls, learning how to replace electrical outlets, toilets, sinks, and drywall. Transportation Systems, another half-year course, where students discover a deeper understanding of the four areas of transportation through fun and exciting projects. Transportation Systems is a course that will acquaint students with a range of methods used to move people, materials, and products across land, sea, and air. Transportation systems and the technology that's involved with them is rapidly changing. These systems play an immeasurable role in our lives of students and citizens in the modern world. Automotives. Automotives course level 1, 2, and 3 is only offered at Menon High School, so Sutherland students will have to travel, usually first period or ninth period, at the end of the day, and you learn the everything that you need to maintain your car from brake repair all the way to struts and oil changes and tire change. It has been a pleasure to introduce our courses to you and I hope to see you in our classes next year. Thank you very much and if you have any more questions please email me at brian underscore holiday at pittsford.monroe.edu. Again if you want to see any of our classes uh, projects that we've completed this year uh, go to Twitter at Pittsford Tech and again if you want to find anything else out please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you very much. Start mostly because the things I imagine I like to ha make them have a physical representation put them into the real world. I take art classes because I like art. Uh, I might not have known that I liked art as much as I did before I took it, but in freshman year I took Studio One, and that really kind of opened my eyes to uh, all the cool stuff you can do in the art world. My favorite part about art class is that I get to work in a creative environment with other creative people to grow my skills. Uh, and in addition to just interacting with the school, I can interact with other businesses in Rochester. Uh, in Graphics One, you get to work with Lollipop Farms and create postcards for them. And we're not just designing for ourselves or the people around us, we're designing to help people and to like um, keep people aware of what's happening around our community and um, I think that's that's pretty cool that we're not only just creating stuff that's visually appealing but stuff that um, pr makes people aware of what's happening around us. Um, I think my favorite part about art is the fact that it's really opened my eyes so now when I see something outside like I don't just look at it and go, oh, that's a tree. Then I think of different ways about how I can look at it. And then, like in photography, instead of just walking around, now I'm actively looking for different things to take pictures of and the ways I can make it look better. And I think um, drawing and painting is probably the best art class I've taken so far, just because you get to with your hands because you get to look at it afterward and say like wow I made that out of nothing and it's really uh, in my opinion rewarding for working on something for so long. 
different ideas I have in my mind, how to pull those together into one unified idea. Like I'll make like 20 different sketches and none of them will look anything like what the finished piece turns out to be. And I've applied that to other classes like in the sciences and in math. And I've, I've pulled it together from my experiences in art to end up with something completely different. It, it really opens up my mind to new ideas and looking at things from new perspectives that I wouldn't have thought to do otherwise. You should take ceramics because it's super fun and you can make stuff like this and you don't have to be good at painting or drawing. You can make bowls, you can make coil pots, you can make so many things. It's like nice to be in a class where like the curriculum isn't so set and it's like cool to be able to be like creative and like the teachers are really understanding and you can take things in a lot of different directions which is cool. If you like don't consider yourself a creative person like it's always good to like put yourself out of your comfort zone. I think you could be like surprised that like I don't know being creative is just so important. The main reason I took animation was because I have always wanted to put the things I make into action. I want to make them real, give them some life. Because you can you can have a drawing, and that's fine. It's a drawing. It's it can be good. It can be great. But it's stuck in time. With animation, it's no longer stuck in time. It's got movement. It's got depth, personality. It's just an entire new dimension that you can add. I really like uh, art classes. Um, I've taken at least two every year so far. Um, I really appreciate them because even if you may not uh, be interested in per se, maybe you don't want to be a painter or you don't want to be a drawer or a photographer, um, it can still apply to your life. Like uh, I, primarily I want to go into filmmaking, so um, I took a class like photography and graphic design because it can really shape uh, your creative eye for other fields. You're, at the end of the day, you're still using the same principles and the same ideas uh, to convey a message uh, through art and through visual imagery. And uh, yeah, just taking art classes really helped to just refine my artistic eye and um, just helped me shape my creative process in general. So you do have a lot of power as an artist and that was important to me and it's still important to me. I feel like it's the one thing that I can really control. Um, and taking art here has been such an amazing opportunity that a lot of kids don't have. I think for me, I took art history because while I may not be the best artist, I really appreciate art. Seeing it from different cultures, I think is the best thing because you, you always see art from like America, but being able to see it from different places and see how this connects to important history stuff, I think is great. If you have any questions about any of our curricular departments, please feel free to contact the respective department leader whose information is provided here. You can also access answers to frequently asked questions, which are located on our library webpage, the link of which is indicated at the bottom of this contact list. We hope that you found this presentation informative. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.